Thank you. Good to talk with you, Tyler. Just uh, your thoughts on uh, training camp through the first few days here and how it has maybe resembled or differed from what you would see in a normal training camp to start a season. Yeah, it's been pretty tough the first few days. We, we knew that was going to be the case coming in. Uh, it's a very similar feel to the first few days we had back in September in, uh, in Victoria. Uh, but the guys look good. Uh, we had a good couple of weeks skating together uh, in our groups, um, you know, leading up to camp. So that kind of got us ready for, uh, you know, the last few days. You've been skating with uh, Alex Edler here through camp. Obviously, you played with him. Uh, at various times throughout the season. How do you think you guys complement each other as a pairing? And is there anything in particular that you learned about playing with him from your experience with him this past season that could benefit you going forward into the play-in route? Uh, well, I think the first thing you you notice with Eddie and I is, you know, we're two pretty big guys. We take up a lot of space. And, uh, you know, I think uh, – you know, definitely for me coming into a new team, I have I had a bit of an adjustment at the start of the year. Uh, so I, you know, I think uh, with all of us new guys, we're we're very familiar with our system now, and I think it showed the second half of the year with our group. And uh, for Eddie and I, I think uh, we've done a lot of talking along the way, and it's it's been a good start the last few days. And I'm sure we'll continue to communicate to each other to you know to keep make uh, keep making sure things move forward. Last one for me, uh, as you get ready for games in front of no fans, as a guy that has experience playing in big playoff games in very loud buildings, uh, you know, in Winnipeg, for example, what's going to be the challenge or how different is it going to be or, or how do you prepare to play games that have that same level of intensity but with no one in the building? Yeah, that'll that'll be the biggest difference for sure. Um, you know, part of – you know, what makes playoff hockey so exciting is the, you know, the hostile atmosphere the, the fans create. It's, uh, you know, it makes, you know, it easily makes, uh, you know, the, the this time of year, you know, this weird time of year this year, but, uh, you know, the most fun time of year. So uh, it's definitely going to be different. Um, you know, the, the momentum swings won't feel as drastic, I don't think. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're, all the guys are, we're doing the, what we need to do to make sure we're ready. So, um, you know, it'll be a different feeling, you know, we'd all be lying if, uh, we said it wasn't going to be, but, um, you know, I think we'll be ready. Thank you. Yep. Next up, we have Ben Kuzma. Hey, Tyler. Uh, Hi. a few from, a few from me. Um, you're a resident of Hockey Row in Kelowna. I'm just wondering from a personal perspective. How much attention you you pay to COVID in the sense that there was an outbreak in the downtown core uh, recently there? Uh, how wary are you of it? Uh, and of course, everybody has family. Um, what level of concern do you have? Yeah, I mean, as soon as I heard about it, I you know my uh, my wife and my son are, are they stayed back in Kelowna, so as soon as I heard about it, I got on the got on the phone with them to make sure they knew about it, and you know uh, made sure that they were staying home. Uh, more than they were, you know, before the outbreak. But, uh, you know, it's the time we're living right now. Uh, you know, I think we're all starting to get used to it and, you know, are starting to become more and more aware of what we have to do to, you know, stay safe. And, um, you know, definitely uh, when that happened in Kelowna, uh, you know, we started talking about it in the room and uh, talked about it right away with the, with the family. You uh, won a Calder Trophy, people may tend to forget, and uh, you played with a pretty good young defenseman in Winnipeg and Truba. What has impressed you about Quinn Hughes this year, Tyler, right from the get-go, a guy who not only brings an incredible game, but uh, his hockey IQ is off the charts. Uh, what impressed you the most? You know what? I I think the thing that impressed me more than anything was uh, the consistency he was able to bring this year. Um, you know, for a young kid, uh, for as young as he is, uh, you knew he was, uh, you know, a big talent coming into the group. And, um, you know, he, he's obviously a special player. Uh, and But you see a lot of times with, with young guys, they have, uh, you know, ups and downs, especially in their, you know, early years. And I think uh, with Quinn, the way he was able to stay consistent and play at a high level the whole year, um, you know, that, that showed a lot of maturity in him.
Uh, one more from me. What about on a personal level? I mean, you've been around the game long enough, but I remember, remember talking to you during the season, Tyler, where you have this kind of thirst for knowledge, uh, do a lot of video. Uh, you want to apply things on the ice the very next day. Uh, where can you still grow your game? Um, you know, I think a lot of it comes within system play. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, you, you, each guy will grow their game within the team. Um, you know, there's, uh, you know, there's a certain way you have to pay, play within each system. And I think, uh, you know, for all of us new guys that came into the, to the group this past year, um, I think you noticed an upward trend of, of our overall team game. And I think that just came with uh, becoming more and more familiar with each other and, uh, you know, I think a lot of growing uh, a player's game, including myself, is, is uh, you know, on the mental side, playing with a lot of confidence. And you can tell with any any player, uh, if they're playing with a lot of confidence, that's when they're at the top of their game. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's what I try and focus on. And, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of other players do too. Thank you, Tyler. Next up, we have Thomas Strance. Tyler, I just want to ask you about you know, you were obviously among the group who was able to do phase two without entering sort of self-quarantine. But things are going to get a little bit more restrictive for you here as you go through phase three into the first five days of phase four in particular. When you sort of, how, how do you go through mentally uh, preparing yourself for that, especially as you haven't had to do it over the past few weeks? Yeah, I think, I think the nice thing is we're going to have each other as a team. Um, yeah. You know, we have a lot of, we, we have a really good locker room. We have a lot of fun together and we also know when it's time to work. Uh, so just, just having the guys around will help a lot. Uh, you know, I'm sure we're going to get together a lot and just, you know, just kind of talk about everything, I guess, but uh, <laughs> you know, we're not, we're not going to have a lot to do, but uh, you know, the fact that we'll have, you know, the team together, that that's going to help a lot in itself. And you know, there's a lot of sacrifice here to compete for the Stanley Cup, obviously, uh, on a, any player's side, but staff and on and on as well. Um, family is sort of at the heart of that. How do you approach sort of this period of time that you're looking at where, you know, you'll, you'd have to win a couple rounds at least uh, to see your family again? How, how do you approach that personally, uh, especially, you know, coming out of quarantine and, and with how close you are with your son and wife? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's, you know, I think that's the hardest part, uh, obviously, for a lot of guys is, uh, you know, some guys have to leave their family behind uh, during this whole process. Um, you know, so you, tr you try and make the best of it. Uh, you know, you FaceTime him as much as you can. You make sure uh, the little guy remembers who you are. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you just, uh, you know, you do what you can. It, you know, everyone in the world is you know, in a unique situation, um, you know, it's, I don't think, you know, none of us have ever really been through anything like this. So um, you make the best of it. Uh, you get as much screen time as you can while you're away. And, uh, you know, um, you, you make the most of it until that moment is, uh, you know, you're done and you get to go see your family again. <laughs> 